so today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I slay this flawless wig install. I have my 13 by 6 16 inch straight wig, my BW2 powder, my 40 volume developer, my neutralizing shampoo, and my shimmer and light conditioner. So basically what I'm doing is taking the BW2 powder and mixing it with the 40 volume developer, making sure that I put an equal amount and mixing it until it's an icing consistency. I recommend you pouring just a little bit in there, mixing it up, making sure that it's all mixed in well together and pouring some more if needed. So once it gets to the perfect consistency, you'll take the wig and start applying a bleach all over the lace. After you'll let it sit for 15 minutes and then rinse it out. Make sure that you're rinsing it out thoroughly each time because you don't want to have no product on the hair. After rinsing it out thoroughly, I take my neutralizing shampoo, apply it all over the lace and make sure that I'm scrubbing and getting it in really, really good so I can make sure that all the bleach is rinsed out so it doesn't continue to process the lace. So again, make sure that y'all getting in there and rinsing it out real thoroughly because if not, the hair will be real brittle. So next, I'm going to take my shimmer and light conditioner and put it on the hair to tone down the brassiness that the bleach may have caused. Right now I'm just rubbing it through and making sure that I get the conditioner in the brassy areas. Then I'm gonna rinse it out through the one more time. So y'all already know how this part go. Now I'm just gonna take her bonnet off, part her hair into some sections and braid it down. After that, I'll take my needle and thread and just sew the last braid to the back of her head. Then I'll take got to be glue or you can use Gorilla Snot and apply all of her edges and brush them back so that I could put on a stocking cap. I forgot to mention early in the video, do not mind how I look, y'all. This was like an early morning client, so I really kind of like rolled out of the bed and did her tight. <laughs> so now I'm going to be using a blow dryer to dry her edges back so they can stay in that position. And her edges did kind of look white, but it was from the got to be in the um, edge stuff that I used to braid her. But it's fine. It's not going to show. So now we're going to be doing a ball cap method. Y'all already know you cut the two ears out on the side. 
and preferably i like to use the got to be gel sometimes i will use a spray but i mostly use the gel because i just like how it dries i feel like it dries better some people will use the glue i used to use the glue but i definitely wouldn't use the glue now um if you use the glue to each his own but i just definitely don't recommend I also like to sew down the cap for a longer lasting install. I should have had it up closer so y'all can see, but make sure that y'all are lining up the got to be gel with her hairline. So make sure that it's lined up with her hairline because you're going to cut the ball cap method in the same way that her hairline is going. So I set her under the dryer for 10 to 15 minutes and then I started to cut her lace in the same way that her hairline was going, like I said. This is very, very important. So if you're a beginner and need to take your time doing this process, please make sure that you do that because you don't want to have do it or mess up by rushing through this process. After that, I take a cotton pad and some alcohol, clean around her forehead and just around the area that the wig is going to lay. Then I'm going to take my Erica J Hold Me Down Skin Protectant and apply that all over her forehead as well. So this wig already came pre-plucked. What I'm doing now is just putting it on her head and making sure that it fit her head, making sure that there's nothing that I need to cut or anything like that before I apply the glue and the makeup. Then I just flip the wig back because I find that it's the easier way for me to put the makeup on the cap and the wig at the same time. Applying the makeup all over the cap, I'm going to take my Erica J Hold Me Down adhesive and apply a thin layer all over the area where the lace is going to lay.
I apply one more layer of glue and then I apply makeup all over the wig. After about two or three more layers, now it's time to apply the wig. So another key to applying a flawless wig and saw is making sure that you line the lace up with the glue. Don't have the lace behind the glue. Make sure the lace is lined up with the glue, kind of over it just a little bit. And make sure that you're combing it back as well. That makes sure that the lace is on there. After that, I pin it up and then hot comb the front so the elastic band can lay. So now I'm, I'm just making sure that I blow dry it fully dry so that I can style it properly. After it's fully dry, I just take the elastic band off so we can start working on that lace. I know that's really what y'all came here for, so we finna get to it, y'all. It's already starting to get a girl's wet lace, and we ain't even start cutting it off yet, y'all. Let alone melted it yet. Like, it ain't even fully melted yet. So now I'm just taking my what I like to call eyebrow razor and just cutting her lace in the same way that her hairline is already going like I said before. So then I take the same makeup that I use on her cap and on the inside of her wig and just apply it on the lace. She 
wanted the middle part, so now I'm just parting out her hair and taking out the baby hairs to be customized. As y'all can see, I took the baby hairs out, hot combed both sides, applied some more makeup, and then now I'm taking the elastic band and just putting it back on there. So now I could customize the wig. So I part the hair down the middle in like kind of a T part. And then I just make sure that I get it real flat with the hot comb. I think I use some um, bio silk. I think that's what it's called to get it real flat. And then I'll take the end of my rat tail comb and my black lace tint and just customize the part and make sure that it's real straight. Finally, I'm styling the wig. So she wants a blunt bob cut. So I'm just straightening the hair so I can prepare myself to cut it. After straightening it real good, now it's time to take that elastic band back off and do them edges. So this time, because I'm doing a blunt cut, I'm just going to cut the hairs and just use some um, mousse. Usually, sometimes I will curl the baby hairs and then I will use spritz. It just really depends on what type of install I'm doing. But like I said, because now I'm doing this blunt cut, I'm going to just use some mousse. So after that, I take my hot comb and I just um, flatten my baby hairs again. Like I said, I like to make sure that my installs are flat. That's the key. So I do that. And then after that, I take my eyebrow razor again and just cut the baby hairs.
Okay, so the key when using mousse is to make sure that you're using a lot and making sure that when you are swooping the baby hairs that you are doing it real lightly. Like, do not press your finger on the baby hairs too hard or on a lace period too hard because it will lift. So as y'all can see, I had to go back and apply mousse on one side because I didn't apply enough. And like I said, that is very important when using the mousse method because that is how your baby hairs is going to lay. So after I customize the baby hairs to my desires, I take this wrap. And I wrap it around her lace, and this is what we call the melting process. So then I run the blow dryer over the front of her lace just to melt it. I want to say I do this for about two or three minutes. And then finally, it's time to get into this cut, y'all. Uh-oh, so now it's time for the big reveal of this lace, y'all. We finna see what it's giving, what it's looking like. Uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, oh, okay, it's giving what lace? Y'all let me know when y'all find it, because I sure can't find it. So now my perfectionist self is taking some got to be gel and just swooping them baby hairs, making sure that they right, because, you know, everything got to be right and tight, baby. Now we just running her hair through the flat irons one more time so we can get the finished product. I look so crazy, y'all. Like, I look so crazy. I just want to apologize. But this is really how I be looking when I'm doing hair. Like, I don't really care how I look when I'm doing hair because it's all about making sure that my clients look good. Okay? I'm going to look good after for sure. But uh, I just, I'm not going to record like this again.
last but not least, I know y'all like damn girl. <laughs> I'm taking the makeup, the same makeup that I use, and I'm just putting it on the area where her part is to make sure that it's straight one more time. Make sure that it's real crisp and looking good. And then I'm spraying my pink shine all over the hair. And we done, y'all. We we done. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Yes. Make sure that y'all like, subscribe, and comment down below what y'all want to see from me next. Bye.